When John and I said goodbye that morning, we thought we were, we were going to be gone, you know, for a week. So it was, it was um, thankfully, you know, a very good goodbye. We lived in Hoboken. He used to take the ferry down to the World Trade Center and was running late. You could see the ferry from our apartment. And so he ran out and forgot his cell phone, caught the ferry and um, got into work. And so I actually originally was supposed to be on flight 93. Because I had chosen to, to bring my mom and Allie, we took the next flight. So we were on flight United 91. I went to call John um, right before we were to get on our flight. And it was literally like call it 842 and there was no answer which is impossible right so he worked for Cantor Fitzgerald always always one of the guys would pick up the phone always and so I was like that's so strange but whatever I'll, I'll talk to John when I land we're all in our seats and all of a sudden they come over on the loudspeaker on the airplane and they said we're grounded we started to learn that a plane had hit the World Trade Center but we didn't know which tower, and quite truthfully, at that moment, I didn't even remember which tower John was in, and we just figured it was a Cessna plane, like it was a small, you know, six, eight seater type plane. And, and that was at the time when like Blackberries had just come out. I sent a note to work to say like, please, what happened? I and literally wrote help in the subject line. At the time, they wouldn't let us leave the plane. They're like, if you get off the plane, you can't get back on. I was like, my husband works there, I have to get off this plane. And so I remember coming out into the gate, going over into the bar area, and uh, watching the television, we could see on the news, right, that it was much more serious than just a, than just a small airplane. And um, as we were watching it, I believe is when the Pentagon got hit. They're getting everybody off the plane at that point. Everyone started to understand this is, this is very serious. And I just remember saying to my mom, we're, we're under attack. Like, we are under attack. I remember just trying to email and call my family. You know, had they heard from John, because I hadn't, he didn't have his cell phone. We had no way to get in touch with him. I got a call late in the night on the 11th. I thought it was John, and it wasn't, you know. And Allie, in the middle of the night, woke up screaming. It's almost as though she, like, knew something was wrong. On the Wednesday, the 12th, I just remember waking up, going actually to see Monsignor Nolan at the church where John and I had been married in Princeton, and just, you know, going to him and crying and telling him that John hadn't, hadn't made contact yet I was like even God doesn't know what happened here right like I just felt like we were so cheated and at the time like that was when people were um, making pictures girlfriends of mine took them into the city and posted them up just the height the weight uh, what he looked like what he was wearing the 13th the Thursday uh, Kenner Fitzgerald had a meeting at the Pierre Hotel in the city and had all of the families come together. And it wasn't until that day that we even understood where the plane had hit and the fact that not one person from Kenner Fitzgerald on the floors that day had been accounted for. That was the day that we accepted and realized they're not, they're not coming back. Allie, she was my saving grace in that... Um, I, you know, I had to get out of bed <laughs> for her. And uh, so I'm so grateful, you know, for her and obviously that, that John and I had her together. For us, you know, because we, we didn't have a body and couldn't say goodbye, it just kind of poof, right? Like, I mean, it's, it's incredible that they just disappeared, right? These buildings just poof, they're gone. The museum really is, you know, that whole, the, it's beautiful, the whole part downtown of Ground Zero now for us is our burial ground, right? That, that is, you know, where John is in some way. I actually like that you go down below ground and it's dark, right? There's, there's no natural light and it's cold and it is a somber experience that you're just trying to take in and, and understand what happened that day. It allows you to peacefully kind of remember. Yes, we lost John, but it was a monumental world event, right? And everybody in some way was affected by it. Everybody.